English expressions with catch, hold, and keep from EspressoEnglish.net. Expressions with catch. If you catch a cold or catch the flu, it means you get sick with a respiratory infection. For example, don't get too close to me. You don't want to catch a cold. You can catch the last bus or train. Normally, you take the bus or take the train. But if it's the last one and you just barely managed to get on it, then you can say you caught the last bus or you caught the last train. For example, we got to the station just in time to catch the last train. To catch someone's eye means to attract someone's attention. For example, if I'm shopping and I'm looking at a lot of jewelry, I could say that gorgeous blue necklace caught my eye. It means it especially attracted my attention. We have the expression "catch a thief" or "catch a criminal." For example, police have not yet been able to catch the bank robbers. If something catches fire, this means it starts to burn. For example, the curtains above the stove caught fire. You can catch a fish. We spent all morning on the river bank and only caught three fish. To catch a glimpse of something means to get a quick look at it. For example, you can catch a glimpse of the ocean between the trees. Now let's look at some expressions with keep. To keep a secret means not to tell anyone about the secret. For example, I'll tell you what I think, but only if you can keep a secret. The expressions "keep away" and "keep your distance" both mean to stay far away from something. For example, the tiger cubs are cute, but they're still dangerous. You should keep your distance. A tiger cub is a baby tiger. "Keep in touch" is a very common expression that means to stay in contact with someone. We can also say "stay in touch." For example, have you kept in touch with any of your old teachers? To keep track of or keep tabs on something means to monitor it or stay informed about it. For example, I have so many projects I can't even keep track of them all. Say "keep in mind" to someone when you want that person to remember a certain fact. For example, when making plans for the trip, keep in mind that we'll have the kids with us. Finally, keep it up and keep up the good work are phrases you can use to encourage someone to continue doing something. For example, you're making great progress. Keep it up. Now let's look at some expressions with hold. You can hold a meeting or hold an event. For example, the conference will be held in Atlanta. If you hold your tongue, it means you decide not to say something. I had some criticisms of the manager's ideas, but I held my tongue. To hold your nose means to pinch your nostrils together with your fingers so that you can avoid smelling something bad. For example, we held our noses as we walked past the garbage cans. If you are on hold, it means you are in a state of pause, especially on the telephone. Like when you call a company and they can't answer your call right away, they put you on hold. I called the bank and they put me on hold for ten minutes. To hold someone responsible means to consider that person responsible. For example, since you're the team leader, the boss will hold you responsible. To hold your ground or stand your ground means to refuse to change your opinion or behavior, even when people are pressuring you to change. For example, I tried to talk him out of leaving his job, but he held his ground. And finally, to hold on tight means to secure something firmly with your hands. For example, I held on tight to my purse as I pushed through the crowded street. If you'd like to learn more combinations of words that are typically used by native English speakers, check out my ebook, 1,000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. When you know the common combinations of words, it's easier to speak in full sentences.
Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on ebooks, and look for 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day.